What's up? It's your boy Greenbug. Welcome back, fellow engineers. Today we have a colossal task ahead of us. Our factory is in dire need of an efficient storage system and sorting machine. It's uh, currently a chaotic mess, but you know what, guys? Fear not. We're going to organize it and refine it into the perfect storage paradise. So thank you for joining on this video. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. You know what to do. Everything helps. All right, let's take a look at what we have so far. Nothing's being sorted yet, but that's what makes this so exciting. We're going to start from scratch and turn this chaos into a thing of beauty. After some brainstorming and a little trial and error, we came up with a design that will maximize efficiency and streamline our storage. First, we'll set up a central storage hub where all resources will converge, which is right here in these storage bins. And they're going to go up from the bottom. We're going to use splitters and conveyors to sort the items into, di into all the different storage containers. It's going to be awesome. And I'm starting it right here, which is these four. You have to start somewhere. So we're going to start here. We're going to have them coming up from the bottom, going into the storage bins. It's going to be great. And then I'm going to label them all, and I'm going to build an enclosure around it. It's going to be a nice little storage system for sure. And retrieving all the items is going to be a breeze because I have it all labeled. All right, so the, in, the output into the storage area is done. We went ahead and built that here up real quick. And next thing we have to do is just go down there and uh, start pumping everything up to the top. There we go. Yeah, down there, I still just have everything being sunk into the resource machine. So we're going to have to reorganize all of this stuff and have it going up. Oh, look, there's the holes that I made. And we'll bring some of those uh, conveyor lifts down here. And you'll kind of start getting an idea of what we're doing. Hopefully. <laughs> All right, so we're going to we're going to change all of these into a bus, which is just uh, conveyors on top of each other in a single line. And they're all going to be going down the middle here. And then we're going to have splitters that branch off into each of these uh, lifts. And that's how we're going to do the sorting machine. We definitely don't know what the future holds in this game, so we, we want to be prepared and make sure our sorting machine is set up and ready to go for the whole time. And there's my little invisible friend from when I played offline once and it won't go away. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we have everything going up from down here. Um, I just went ahead and routed the conveyor belts over there messily just to see what it looks like, see how it's working. Everything seems to be working good. Everything's going up into the storage bins. I hope. Let's let's check. Yep, everything's coming up here. Nice. All right, what is the next step? Next step is routing more, or I'm sorry, the next step is creating more storage bins so that we can route all the other items to them. Because each storage bin is one item. Welcome back, Green Bug Gaming. All right, so we definitely want to get those signs to put on the storage bins so that we know what's in them. So that's under organization, display sign bundle, right there. So it looks like I need to get some more tickets. Go ahead and add that to the cart here real quick. Oh, I don't have any coupons. Let's go grab some coupons. Where did I put them? Uh, where's my coupons? Are they in the machine or in the storage bin? Hmm. Oh, I deleted the machine. Okay, never mind. We'll figure that out later. All right, first things first, we got to get some more iron, make some steel. All right, let's make a little craft bench here so we don't have to keep going up and down. Yeah, I see you drinking that coffee. You slacker. All right, let's make some steel ingots here. Boom. Craft, 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 craft. Got to make the steel pipes. Uh, got to make a new uh, storage bin. All right, and we got our new storage bin here. We're going to go ahead and add a couple to the pile or uh, to the storage room. Add one over there and one over here. All right. Go ahead and get that conveyor lift hole in there. Boom. Easy. Easy and clean. All right. Let's go ahead and make another lift. Get those resources heading up there. All right. And we'll just drag this over to one of the new conveyors. Um, we're making this really sloppy. We're making some nice spaghetti here. 
but it's only temporary spaghetti. It's, like, it's kind of how I like to play. I, uh, I hook everything up so that it works and then I tidy it up. You know, I, I get the idea going and then I work backwards from the destination to the source of tidying it up, usually. Is that efficient time-wise? No, but it's how I play. I don't know, I can't do it different. Some people can't even do like organization at all and their place looks like let's game it out <laughs> where there's just conveyor belts everywhere. You know, I don't judge them. Um, I have a little bit of spaghetti, you know, just a little bit here and there and then I tidy it up. So we're gonna get that tidying up here in just a little bit. All right, so the next things I wanna get is I wanna get quartz and silicon going into the storage room and I'm gonna have to go mine some of that and then set up a few constructors to craft it and then pipe it all the way or belt it all the way back here to the storage room. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. We, we got some storage set up already. Haven't even been playing that long, but you know, eight, 10 minutes here. We already got some storage going and it's only gonna get better from here. Look at how nice that looks. I love it. I love that look. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna get the crystal going and the silicon. I already got a, a miner set up. We just gotta get a few, uh, some power lines and then some constructors. And then we'll be able to pipe this back to our storage room. Let's go ahead and grab this guy first here. And then we gotta get some, uh, some quartz and shove that into the MAM and research it. And then we can do what I just said. I had that in the wrong order there. There we go, got some Caterium and now for some quartz. What am I doing? Let's see, yeah, this is much better. Let's do the automatic miner here. There we go. We'll let that run for a second and then, oh, there's my coal. Ah, polluting the world, good. Good, good coal generators, good coal generators. Come on, how much do you have now? Let's see. 40? I think that's good enough, isn't it? Ah, that should be fine. That should be fine. Yeah, we're working on our on our whole base. We we got a coal system set up. We got the rotors being produced over there, and we got our storage system going here. Um, with each step, you know, we're getting closer to the goal of a functional and beautiful storage system. Uh, one thing I can't stress enough uh, is how crucial it is to plan ahead and leave room for expansion. Um, we never know uh, what the future will hold, so we definitely want to be prepared. All right, see, look, we don't have any of the copper, so we need to grab some of that, uh, the wire. There we go. All right, so we're going to go over here and get the quartz and the silicon going. Shouldn't be too hard. All right, there's the first constructor. Let's pop this guy under quartz. We're back, and you see the silica? It's coming along. Pretty soon we're gonna have it all connected up to the storage area. It's gonna be great. But yeah, there you go. Storage room is uh, in progress. Um, we got about six bins set up right now, getting some of the basic materials sorted with a little bit of spaghetti on the bottom, but we're gonna fix that next episode. And we're gonna have a big bus coming in here instead of spaghetti and it's all gonna be split off. So I just wanted to say thank you all for joining me today as we transformed some chaos into order. Uh, I hope this episode inspired you to tackle your own storage challenges and satisfactory. Um, remember, planning, patience, and a little bit of creativity go a long way in this game. <clears throat> Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when we tackle our next challenge in satisfactory. Until then, keep building, keep refining, and keep having fun. See you next time.